Jefferson Township, Pennsylvania. A real happening place. And I can't think of anything that makes it happening whatsoever. It's a rainy, hey, I'm sick edition of Frank the Lunatic Rants. Heidi ho everyone out there. How is it going today? All right. That's a justice piece of shit. Piece of shit. All right. So, yeah, I got the weird view going on today. I love the way I keep changing colors. I don't know how the end result's going to be, but now it has me looking a little bit yellowish greenish, sort of. <laughs> now I'm pinkish, whitish, reddish, whitish. There you go. Anyhow. What do I have to rant about today? Let's see here. Hmm. I know what I got to rant about. Fortunate people who don't realize how fortunate they are and they're fortunate spoiled kids. This is what I'm getting at and I hate if I offend any of you subscribers out there that might be in this situation, but... I doubt you really are because most people with money probably will not be sitting around watching YouTube, watching people like me. Um, I really, really hate this time of year. I really do. So basically, uh, I guess you could, this rant you could say is going to be about people that just like either intentionally or unknowingly force their good life down there, down your throats. What do I mean? Well, this time of year, besides the fact that you get things like torrential friggin' downpours going on, that's really gonna just wreck my video there. Now you're gonna see my friggin' wiper blades all the time going by, hitting Sea Watch. It's gonna hit my head. I can do this the whole video. There you go. Anyhow, um, what I'm getting at is people that just. I don't know. There's people out there that just don't realize how fortunate they are. You know what? So a lot, many of them. You know, I, I see these things on Facebook, and a lot of these people on Facebook are people I went to school with. Be it, not as so much grade school, because I will admit something. For the most part, with the exception of a couple of people that maybe have union jobs, they don't really force the hat, their success down your throat with Facebook. Um, a lot of it has to do with high school, maybe a little bit of college. Um, I mean, there's there are some people from elementary school, but not many, very very few. Anyhow, uh, so here's the thing that I'm getting at, people. I, I can't stand this time of year. You know, you go on Facebook, you see all the stories, and you know. People, instead of saying, you know, you're okay, you went on a cruise, or you're, you're something like that, it, it, you just, like, just drag it out. Uh, you went on this fabulous cruise that you got this great bargain on because, you know, it only costs, like, four grand a person, or, you know, like, shit like that. Um, hate to say it, but that drives me freaking crazy. It really does. It, that freaking drives me crazy. That you... Or, oh, you just time me to get all the pictures online. You know, congratulations to my kid for graduating high school. You know, here's his graduation present, the 2017 Mazda. Or, congratulations to my daughter for making it through college. You know, here, here's her BMW. That sickens me. I, I just want to barf at this stuff. You know... Hey, I, I don't have anything against people for being successful, but I mean, a lot of these people tend to forget that there's people like me out there, people like us out there that are literally working, busting our asses. Now, they may feel they're busting their asses at their overly paid office job that, you know, a lot of them have, some of the positions they have, or some people that have been, you know, executives. And, you know, when you're an executive... You, you know what executive is? You execute. You execute orders. You tell people, do this, do that, and they go do all the dirty work. You know, shit that travels downhill, basically. Um, ha 
how some of these people can come home and say they had a hard day's work. You know, it's one thing if you were a doctor or something like that, but like some of these people, I'm sorry, but you don't remember what it's like to actually do hard work, actually put in, you know, a 12 hour day doing a really shitty job, making, you know, 10 to 12 bucks an hour or something. I mean, I don't even make the greatest pay in the world. I'm finally making what I was making almost 18 years ago. Just a, probably a quarter more, maybe 30, I think 30 cents more than I was making 18 years ago. An hour. Where, you know, a lot of these people have salary jobs, things like that. And it's funny, like, they, I, I don't know if, the, if their kids ever really realize how fortunate they have it either because again you see all the sickening posts online how we all oh you just went out and dumped eight grand on a quad or some shit for your kid things like that and now these are the same people that during election times especially during the obama years or obimbo years you know with throwing down our throats oh we gotta help the middle class oh we're feeling the pain yeah, oh my God, what am I going to do? I can't afford to go on my cruise this year. You know, I'm drowning in debt. Well, well first of all, you're spoiling the shit out of your kids. That's for starters. You know, you're spoiling the ever-loving shit out of your kids. Is your kid going to die because they didn't get a brand new car? And a graduation present? Come on. Really? It, it, people just don't live realistically anymore. I, I don't, I'm, I don't. I just hate being force-fed this shit. These are the same people, of course, that will blast me. Saying, you know, oh, well, you know, all you ever have is, you know, bad things to say. And you never anything good. Well, I'm sorry. You know, shall I make, shall I pretend that I'm going on a cruise, going on a trip? I just came back from Europe. I bought my kids, you know, a, a brand new $40,000 car. I mean, is that... Really, like, would you really want to hear? Because, you know, I, I won't post shit like that. It's like, and it's not freaking true. I'm sorry. Excuse me for posting the freaking truth. If something sucks in my life, that's the truth. That's the reality of it. That's what goes up there. If you don't like it, tough shit. You know, I'm sorry that you don't have anything wrong going on in your life. Either that or you're sugarcoating your life all the time by drowning people like us, just like the rain out here, drowning people like us with all your cruises and your, your brand new cars and this thing and that thing and this thing and that thing and your trips and all this other shit. It, it's really fucking irritating. It's just as bad as those people back in the earlier days of YouTube several years ago that would post things like eating lunch. Okay. Having a hamburger. And then putting a picture of the hamburger. Now, I may do weird things like that, but I do it as a funny thing. I don't do it on a regular basis. I just people do that shit on a regular basis. But anyhow, getting back to the rich people. I really, you know, like when I posted pictures when I got this piece of shit that I can't stand now. I posted pictures. It was because I was actually proud of the fact that I finally got a newer car. Something that was only two years old. To me, that... That, that's a big event. That's not an everyday thing. It, it's not that every every two, three years I'm getting a new vehicle. You know, if I actually went on a cruise, yeah, I would post it because that is something new. It's something different, you know. But posting it all the time, I don't know. It just gets sickening after a while. People want to know why people like me get depressed because all this shit. You see how successful all these other people are. How they're throwing it down your throats, you know, and how successful they are all the time. You know, well, excuse me for not being fortunate, that fortunate. You know, excuse me for being born into the wrong family, choosing the wrong career path, or basically working for the wrong companies. Because as I always say, I've worked for some of the best companies in the world that have gone bankrupt or just pulled out of the state. Anyway, so just think about that sometime. When, when you're posting your pictures of your freaking expensive-ass cruises and all this other bullshit. Think about that when you're posting that shit. 
of how miserable it makes the rest of us underpaid, hardworking, you know, low, lower income freaking people. And then you'll wonder why, like, there's people out there that commit crimes and break into people's houses. They, they don't break into poor people's houses unless they're looking for drugs. No, they break into houses with people with money. And I don't mean entirely rich people. It's because these people are stupid enough to advertise this shit, too. Advertise all the new stuff they got. You know, put all the boxes out by the garbage instead of, like, freaking bagging them up or some shit or recycling them. You know, so everyone can see you just got the new computer and the new TVs and everything else. Yeah, well, advertise to everybody who doesn't have that stuff that you have it now. So they, you know, they know which houses to rob while you're away on vacation, which they'll easily see because most of these yampigs never change their privacy settings on Facebook, and everything's public anyway, so everybody knows that you're on vacation for 14 days on a freaking cruise with the kids. Anyhow, I'm Frank the Lunatic. Meager meek, Frank the Lunatic. Now, my friends, for now is all I have to say about that. Birthday card, birthday cake, birthday card, birthday cake, birthday card.